Welcome to this video on free body diagrams for frames with complex pins. Before we begin, I would like to draw your attention to this textbook with many solved examples and this software from FS Potentia for helping you in solving engineering statics problems. In another video, we have discussed the identification of simple and complex pins in frames and machines. I would recommend that you watch this video before you watch the current video. In this video, we will show you how to draw free body diagrams for frames with complex pins. However, we will not get into the solution uh, of the frame that is how to determine the internal forces in the frame. We will only draw the free body diagrams. In, a, in another video, we will show you how to solve the frames. So in this video, we are not going to draw any free body diagram for the whole frame. Let's look at example one. In this example, we have a two force member and a multi force member <coughs> and one complex pin. This pin is complex because we have three interactions, one, two members and an applied force. So we are going to draw one, two, three free body diagrams. So these are the three members in the frame, two rods and a complex pin. There is a force on this rod which makes this rod multi-force and there is another load on the pin. First, we include the AX, AY forces at the pin support. Then we draw the free body diagram of the two force member and this two force member interacts with this pin so we will have to include an action reaction pair. This is a multi force member and all multi force members get X and Y components at complex pins. So here we are going to draw X and Y component and also draw the action reaction pair on the pin. Make sure that when we put all the pieces back together, the blue forces will disappear and only the red forces and the green forces will remain. Example two, one, two, three, four members, three complex pins with more than two interactions. So we are going to draw seven free body diagrams. Three two force members here, one multi force member here, and three complex pins. Force from the pin support. Two force member, action, reaction. Another two force member. This member interacts with this complex pin and this complex pin. So we get two action reaction pairs here and here. Similarly, this two force member interacts with this pin and also with this pin. This is a multi-force member, so it should get two forces, X and Y components at complex pins. So we get BX, BY, and reaction BX and BY. BX is right, here BX is left, here BY is up, here BY is down. Another pin, multi-force member, gets two components, CX and CY. CX is right, 
CX is left, CY is up, CY is down. In this frame, we have two complex pins here because we have three interactions, two members and a force. And here also, this is a complex pin because we have three interactions, one member, two member, and a force. So three interactions. This is not a complex pin because there are only two interactions between these two force member and the vertical member. So this is a simple pin. We will not have to draw a free body diagram for that pin. So we have three members and two complex pins. Force from the roller. This complex pin, this is a multi-force member, gets two components, BX, BY, and the reaction is here. Again, CX, CY, and the reactions at this pin. Again, this is a multi-force member, DX, DY, and the reactions. Two force member interacting with a complex pin here and a member here. So we have action reaction here and an action reaction here. And the pin support, we get EX and EY. One, two, three, four, five members, three complex pins. So altogether, eight free body diagrams. This is this complex pin interacting with the horizontal member, top horizontal member, action and reaction. This two force member interacts with this pin, action, reaction, interacts with this pin, action, reaction. Vertical two force member, action, reaction, action, reaction. And this pin is that pin in the diagram with the load on it. This is another multi-force member. So we get action and reaction. Here we have a roller, so we get only a BY. Here again, we will get two forces, X component and Y component, and we have to include that in as action reaction on this pin. This is a two force member. This two force member interacts with the horizontal, top horizontal member. So we get an action reaction here and action reaction with the corner pin. The corner pin is here, it's a pin support, so it interacts with the wall or the floor, so we need another X and Y component of forces here. So let's add those, EX and EY. In this example, we have one, two, three, four members, two complex pins. Three of these members are two force, only one is multi-force. So we will draw one, two, three, four, and three more for the three complex pins, seven free body diagrams. So you can see the members are drawn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the top member. This is the only multi-force member here. Everything else, this member, this member, and that member, they are all two force. And the top pin has a load on it. The bottom right pin also has a load on it. This is AXAY from the pin support. This is 
b x b y this b x b y is from the other pin support here This two force member interacts with the top horizontal member, action reaction, and the pin at bottom left, action reaction. The lower horizontal member is two force, interacts with the pin, the bottom left pin, and also with the bottom right. This two force member interacts with the top right pin and the bottom right pin. So we still have another force coming in. This is a multi force member, so we have to add CXCY and its reaction on the pin. This is a multi-force member because it has a pin and a pin and a couple. Two force member, two force member, and a multi-force member because we have a pin and a pin and a force. This is a complex pin because it interacts with one, two members and the piston. So how many free body diagrams do we need? One, two, three, four, and five for the complex pin. And also a free body diagram for the piston. So we have two multi-force members, one with a couple on it and one with a force on it. These are the two two force members. This is a complex pin and this is the piston. Force from the pin support, top. Two force member, action reaction. Another two force member, action action reaction and again action reaction this is the interaction between <coughs> the complex pin and the piston with action reaction forces shown and this is the pin support which is this pin support this free body diagram is still not complete because it is interacting with the channel and also with some stuff that is squeezing. And so we add two forces, dx and dy. One force coming from this green object, which is dx, and one force coming from the tubing, the blue tubing, which is dy. The cable tensions on the pulley directly transfers to the pin that connects the pulley with the structure. Because if you look at the equilibrium of the pin, these two tensions are equal, and those two tensions will get transferred to this pin, and a tension here, and a tension here will get transferred to this pin. So in this, uh, we have only one complex pin here. This is a simple pin because two members are joined. This is a simple pin, only two members are joined. Simple pin, simple pin, and a simple pin. The right angle member here is two force. 
which means there will be two forces here and here that will be aligned with this line. This is a multi-force member, this is the vertical member, and this is only complex spin in this problem. This complex spin is attached to the wall. This complex spin is attached to the wall, and the wall applies this AX, AY forces on this complex spin. This complex spin is also attached to the horizontal member. Horizontal member is multi-force, so it would get two forces, X and Y components. And so we include the action and reaction. So at this complex spin, we have included the wall as AXAY, we have included the cable as a tension, and we have included the interaction with this member as BXBY. Two force member connects with this member and that member giving us two action reaction pairs. The vertical member is vertical member is multi-force. The bottom member is also multi-force, so it will get two components, CX, CY, and action reaction pair. And now we add the roller, this roller at, to the bottom pin and a force DY. Here again, <coughs> we have two pulleys, and this tension and that tension will get transferred to this pin, and this tension and that tension will get transferred to this pin. This frame has no complex pin, so we draw a free body diagram for only the two members. Pin support, another pin support. This is a multi-force member. This is a multi-force member, so we get CXCY and its reaction CXCY. Thank you for watching.